I um, totally agree. We actually have, it's a little bit after the New Year's. So I guess it, it was a extension maybe of the holidays because the lights are still up and everything. But we have a thing in St. Paul called the St. Paul Winter Carnival. And there are a lot of different hmm. events, but one of the things that happens is in this park right downtown, they bring in ice sculptors who just basically make these creations out of a block of ice. It's amazing. They're using chainsaws. It's incredible, to be honest. I, it's un unbelievable what they can create. And they have those lit up at night and they're working on them. It is usually very cold, but you can go for a little bit and it's free just to walk around and see everything going on. It's my favorite and price. <clears throat> free is a good price. Another thing that is pretty much free that we have done in a few years. It was a little bit easier before we had kids, but I think eventually we'll do this again, is the the Winter Carnival Medallion Hunt. So the Pioneer Press, which is a local paper, hides a medallion in something, and it's in a park in the county, in Ramsey County. And so they give they, the paper releases a clue every week and it's pretty fun. We've gone, we've tried and, and the clues are really hard, full of m multiple meanings. And there are people who take off work for two weeks to go and search for this thing. Because if, if you clip all of the clues out of the paper and you buy a winter carnival button, I think, and I think there's one other thing you have to do. I think the grand prize is like 10,000 for finding it. It's a nice chunk of money. It's pretty fun though. I still remember when I was probably like maybe 10 years old, my dad and I a few times growing up and we were out at a park and we thought it was at this park. And so we're just, you're digging and you're digging in snow basically where I live. And I was digging with a shovel and I went clink and I hit something and I thought, oh my gosh. And I had the adrenaline was pumping. And so I'm digging harder. And I pull it up and it was a empty bottle of alcohol in the park mm. and it was not the medallion. <laughs> so wow. but we've actually been in the park. We've looked in the park where it has been found and it's amazing. Usually people are just digging and they find it. It's just, it's really tough, but a fun memory. The point there was just that sometimes parks, even if you live in a cold climate, are doing fun things like that. Treasure hunt, sliding, ice skating, ice sculpting. And these things are usually free or because it's cold. 